Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday morning. It's September 3rd, and you won't believe it. It is 79 degrees out here. It feels incredible. Um, I think the high is going to be something like 85 today. Um, so we've had several days of rain, thank God. I haven't had to run the sprinkler in, well, three or four days. That's been so nice. My water bill was crazy this went in this month. It was it was really crazy, um, but I'm so thankful that we've had rain. So I was able to plan out a few little things, but I haven't done much at all. Um, so I'm just going to show you just a little short little short thing. I have been having hummingbirds still showing up in the garden, and uh, it's funny because uh, yesterday I was out just sitting here just watching things, not doing anything, just thinking about what I could be doing, but just enjoying it, you know? Um, and I saw a butterfly on one of the Tithonia flowers and a hummingbird came along and he knocked him off. It was just funny. The butterfly was like, what, can't we share? Um, no, and the hummingbird, you know, they cannot share, they can't. But this morning, since I didn't have to run the sprinklers and I had a little bit of time, I finally got to dig up some of this gumfrina that's growing from seed right here and I put two of them in this pot and when I dug them up some frog fruit came up with it so I'm gonna have some frog fruit in there and um, a little bit of that in there and so I've got two in here and they grow huge but I'm hoping that they'll grow huge out to the side this one's kind of flopped over a little bit I may have to do something with that but and then I finally um, potted up those penta that I bought a couple of weeks ago. There they are. And I'm using this pot right here to kind of prop up this zinnia that grew up from seed. Look at how pretty it is. Isn't that pretty? And it's growing in the ground. And so far, the uh, armadillos haven't dug it up. Y'all, I just really think that I love pink and white. I think I love pink and white in the garden so much. Is that not fun? Just all that pink and white. And of course, the wishbone flower and the um, coral nymph salvia, just all these together just looks like a little fairyland. Look how amazing Desdemona is looking. It, it, it's little and the, little, the blooms are little, but they smell so good and it's just got buds all over it. That's just so wild because I cut it down to a nub just a couple of weeks ago. Things really do need to be cut down to a nub and um, I have kind of dropped the ball on that. I gotta show you a close up of this cat, the cat's whiskers. Isn't it just cute? And it is growing, it looks like it needs to be fed. And y'all know if I say that, then I'm probably not gonna feed it, but see how pale it looks? It probably should, I should probably do something about that. We'll see if that happens though. My summer romance has got blooms all over it, but it just looks kind of brown and beaten down from the rain. And look at this uh, cute little, I'm not quite sure what um, bug that is, but um, it's interesting. Yeah, I don't know why my summer romance is all just kind of brown and gross. I'm just guessing maybe, maybe getting hammered by the rain did it. Now under the summer romance rose is where the armadillo likes to dig. And he has been digging. Um, you can see here, there's just a bunch of little tunnely kind of and holes all in there. But thankfully, he has not dug up everything. Some things are still alive. In fact, quite a few things are still alive. Look what has happened to this Wicked Witch Coleus. So it had grown gross, and now look at it. It's just popping back out. It's gonna grow back and, and be strong. So, wow, it's, I'm, I'm always just so impressed with how resilient plants are because they have really, really suffered this summer. So just an overview from right here. There are lots of spots that are open and need a lot of work. I've got a lot of empty pots that need something put in them. And uh, I just uh, putting it off until I feel like it. I gotta show y'all what happened to the Tithonia. So it was already on its way over, but then the storm really did knock this stuff over. And it looks so hideous and I wanna rip it out, but look at all the flowers. 
So I got to leave it because this is where the hummingbirds and the butterflies just congregate right here. They're just drawn to it. They love it so much. And I haven't shown you this in a while because there was a lot of things that I had to rip out and it needed to be weeded. And basically, I just really want this to be kind of like a somewhat of a native plant hedge that grows up thick um, in front of this fence. And I want to do it to the other side too. These I just put in a pot and they're a native plant. And look at the cute, cute little flowers on it. I think they're called blue curls. But look at those teeny tiny little flowers. You know, because they're teeny tiny, that the bees are gonna love them. And here are blue butterfly peas um, that are not native here, that I've got growing up this fence. Look how deep blue it is, so pretty. And these are the ones that uh, if you pick the flowers and you dry them and you put them in lemonade, it turns your lemonade pink and I have not touched the bog garden haven't I planned to shop my yard which meant I was gonna like dig up a few little things that were growing in places that I didn't want them to grow like this wishbone flower and I was gonna put them in some pots there's no sense in going out and buying more stuff when I have little plants that really need to be rescued there is the Venus flytrap let's see what's going on with it it looks like it's getting taken over by some of this stuff but um, things are still kicking in here this is a very popular area for all the wildlife very fun this thing's grown huge I mean look how tall it is it's I guess it's like five feet tall now every part of the garden needs so much work I had planned to like dig up a couple of these um, that had started from seed uh, these coleus and put some of them in pots because I really like the patterns on these leaves are they not fun but I um, haven't done it yet and this was kind of like a lemon balm low shrub hedge kind of you know but this is what happens to it I don't know if, it, if I, it's because I had overwatered it with a sprinkler I don't I didn't really think anything could be overwatered because my goodness things were just drying out I'm still on Gulf Fritillary Watch because I have not seen them yet. The um, Salvia Lucantha actually looks better after all the rain and this precious, precious little plant is still going strong. That's two plants right there, not just one, but two plants I discovered when I put my hand in there. But I got to show y'all how the passion flower vine is taking over the sidewalk and it wants to take over the house so next time we might not be able to see the house at all because i'm not going to stop it i'm going to let it grow i want as much passion flower vine as i can have now some of this is mixed in with um morning glory because uh i was fighting it off but then i gave up so there is some morning glory here i did um dig up those plants that were lining the path and I put them here they seem to be all right but armadillos have have come and dug around them but I think they're gonna make it I really like that together more lovely blooms gosh that color is so intense that is so fun I love that I haven't shown you all this lavender in a while because it's been covered over by vines and I just released it from the vines and look at this crazy thing it is still alive I mean it looks half dead but it's half alive and look at the bottom look at there there's some live things down there how amazing is that that is uh, I've just ignored it and it's like you know what I'll just do my own thing Look, it's even got a few tiny blooms on it. How amazing. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, about a month off and get some stuff done and have something that's really good to see instead of just showing y'all lim this limping along. Um, so I'll be back in October and uh, 
I haven't um, been able to answer your comments yet, but I'm going to do that too. And um, y'all, thank you. Um, y'all are so precious to me. Y'all are just such a joy. And um, I will, I can't wait to show y'all something that's going to be amazing. But uh, God bless y'all. And I hope your fall gardening is, is going to be amazing. And I can't wait to hear what you've been doing. And I'll talk to you later. Uh, let's play outside.